And the arguments from pharma, what I find so alarming is that what they prey upon is the love that people in America have for their families. Because if you're a mom or you're a dad and you've got a son or a daughter who needs a prescription drug and you can't afford it, you'll take out a second mortgage or you'll sell the house or you'll get rid of your retirement account. You'll do whatever it takes to save the person you care about. And pharma, with their pushback, saying this is going to threaten innovation, is not, it's preying on those fears that all of us have about what will happen if we don't do everything we can to help the person that we love. And you know what? It's not about that for pharma. They're doing pretty well. Those salaries are astonishing. Those corporate buybacks are very rich. So I'm proud to be with my colleagues here to stand up for the right that our citizens have affordably, confidently, securely to be able to have, when they need it, access to the prescription medication that's going to extend their life and save their loved ones.